So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create new routes in Express.js and also how to apply an embedded JavaScript template to display when that route is browsed to. So we'll actually work backwards through this tutorial, creating the template first, applying it to a route, and then finally adding the route back to our Express.js app. And you'll know from the previous lesson that all of our templates are held within the views folder. So I've just created a file called hello.ejs and I'll put some really simple markup into here, which we'll use as our template. So this is the template that we want to display when a user hits a certain URL on our application. And there's one piece of embedded JavaScript which will actually display the contents of a variable called name. So just creating the template in this way won't actually do anything to our existing Express application. We first of all need to define a route that when a user browses to a specific URL, Express actually renders this template. So in the previous lesson, we also learned that the routes folder contains modules that holds lists of routes that we want our Express application to use. So let's go ahead and create a new one of those to use our new template. So inside our new root module, we first of all need to require Express and get a reference to the overall router that Express is using to render content to users. We'll then add our new route that we want to use, and we set this up onto the router variable that we've just defined. So the route that we've defined is for when anyone accesses forward slash hello, and we're going to render the hello.ejs template that we created a second ago. Notice that you don't actually have to put the .ejs file extension into the render function. And then we'll pass in an object where the name is set to James. And before we finish this file, don't forget because it's a module, we actually need to export something. And all we do is export the modified router by referencing the router variable. So we need to do just one final thing to actually get our route and our template to render. And that is we need to tell Express that we've created this new route and we want to use it within the application. And the best place to do this is inside the app.js file. You can see at the top of the file that there are two root modules that have already been imported and saved into variables. So let's do that first. And of course the variable name doesn't matter, but if you have a convention it's worth following it. And with the new hello root imported, we just need to include it with the app by using app.use. So you might be wondering why I've just used a forward slash rather than forward slash hello. And I'll come back to that in just a second, but let's run our Express.js project now and see our new route in action. So here we are back in the browser and we're just browsing to the default route at the moment. But if I put forward slash hello on the end, you'll see not only is the template rendering, but also the data that we passed in in the route is being utilized by that embedded JavaScript. So why didn't I have to put forward slash hello in the app.use function here? Well, that's simply because I defined the actual root name itself inside of our hello.js module. I could of course remove that from here and then back in our app.js file, I can actually use the root name here. And that's actually really useful if you have multiple routes with inside of your routing modules and it just helps you to namespace them or scope them under one URL. In future lessons, you'll see this in use in a bit more detail, but if you've got a simple project like this, it's really down to your personal preference of where you want to actually define the name of the route. So at the start of the tutorial, I promised we'd look at getting some dynamic data from the actual URL via a get parameter. So let's go back and update our routing module to do that. So inside of our get function, we've also got access to the request object, which is basically the data that's been sent to Express. And on that object, we've actually got access to a property called query. And query contains a list of any get parameters that have been passed in to the root. So in our browser, for example, we might pass in a URL that looks a little bit like this. So inside of our request.query object, we can actually access name and save that into a variable. And so let's pass that into the template instead of the static James that we've provided. And I can shorten that even more with ES6 object shorthand. So let's restart our application and try that out. So now in the browser, if we pass in a get parameter to our hello root, we can then specify some data which gets passed directly down into our EJS template. 
So of course our Express application can accept many different types of HTTP requests. So we can send post data, put, patch and even delete verbs. But if you've never come across those or worked in a RESTful environment, then what you've seen so far will just demonstrate how you can set up basic pages and pass data to them via the route to the EJS template.